and I am going to do my Halloween home decor tour. I don't decorate a lot for Halloween, but this year I decided to do a little more than I normally do. The kids really wanted it. Um, they love Halloween, as do most children, so I thought I would be a fun sport and actually decorate and purchase a few new things for them and they were super excited when they saw the new items that I purchased. So, I am going to walk you through and as always, I will leave down in the description box links to everything that I can find to link up and names of items that I purchased. So, so let's jump right into the Halloween home decor tour. Okay, I wanted to start you outside because we do have some cute items. I picked this trick-or-treat sign here from the Dollarama for $3 and I will have a link in the um, right or left hand corner as well as the description box a link to my Dollarama haul for you to watch and the pumpkins from Michaels. So we just have a real pumpkin then this here the wind is making it go crazy. The spider webbing I'm gonna have to figure something out for that because that would get very annoying. Then we have these lights that were new. They're like electric fence. If I'm able to, I will leave. Um, I will insert right now the fence at nighttime. And then we just have another pumpkin a few of the like, win window stickers. Then here I just kinda Halloweenized, if that's even a word, um, our welcome to our home sign with some spider whips and some little spiders. Open the door, this is something new. The kids love it. Then we have a wreath here that I picked up at Target years ago. Let's enter. Okay, so over here I just put above my little green wreath that's always here, a little happy haunting sign. So that's it for the bench area. And then over at the window, window, over at the mirror, I have this little decal of a spider. And if you look into the kitchen, straight ahead, I have just a skull on my cake, my uh, cupcake stand. This glittery scene, which is a haunted house. Then over here in this corner of the counter with my beautiful radon cookie jar, beautiful, um, I have ghost stories told here sign. This was purchased years ago at Michael's. And then next to it I just left my Pier 1 pumpkin plate. Then over on the shelf that is right before the dining room, I kept it pretty much the same with the pumpkins, except I added this cute little ghost and this eat, drink, and be scary sign. And this sign was purchased at Winners two years ago. the dining room, I just have this Dollarama um, table runner that I picked up last year, but I do know they still have them because I picked up another one this year. It just looks like black spider webbing and I think it looks really nice just on top of my pumpkin um, table runner. I'll link the haul to the, the fall home decor haul that I posted and fall home tour of this uh, table runner. Then this centerpiece is nothing fancy, but I'm just working with what I have. And we have this pumpkin um, placemat 
in the little spiderweb bowl and I just put the pumpkin candle holder in it. As a mother, I've learned to let go of my perfectionism and I let my kids just be kids and decorate the way they want to decorate. So they found these window clings. These ones are just uh, Casper. And I let them have it. I let them just stick them where they wanted to stick them. The old me would have wanted it to be perfect, but you know what? They're kids, they love it, they're happy, and that's all that matters. In this corner of my buffet, I have these two Martha Stewart la paper lanterns that I ended up getting, I think it was close to nine years ago, at Michael's when they had my uh, $2 grab bags at the end of the season. The pumpkin is from Walmart. It was $3.97 and I purchased it this year. I had grand plans on doing a Maleficent pumpkin with this. I'm not sure it's going to get done. If it does, I will have it linked down in the description box below, but chances are it's just not happening this year and I'm okay with that. Then here in the corner of this hallway, I have my jack-o'-lantern that I can light up and plug in. I'm going to set him outside on the uh, plant stand that I have the real pumpkin for Halloween night, but for the time being, he just hangs out in the hallway here. There's no plug, so I can't light him up, but he looks pretty cute. Now we're entering the living room, and this is really where the majority of the decorations are. On the fireplace, I'll step back. This is our fireplace. I have this Boo Banner from Target. <laughs> and then down here I have this Black Cauldron from the Dollarama two years ago. They still have them. And then this book was actually from the Dollarama, and I think I'll already have that video linked. Um, for you to see my Dollarama haul. But these are just some of the kids' favorite Halloween books. I like to bring them up during Halloween. Then I have this sweet pumpkin, and he sings. It's Halloween, let's be so sweet. Awesome candy, that's nice and sweet. It's our favorite thing to do. I thought he's cute and the kids love it. Uh, then I have this little bat stuffy from the Dollarama this year. This sign here was from the... Was it from the Dollarama? Yep, yeah, it was from the Dollarama. It was $1.50 and I bought this last year. I haven't seen them this year, but you never know. I wasn't really looking. Then on the windowsill, I have this uh, Heidi Swap box. And if I remember, I'll insert a link right now of it lit up at night. And then Madeline then did this all by herself and I was super proud. Um, like I mentioned earlier about the perfectionism in me, she did this by herself without me even knowing and I think it is awesome. And I would never have thought that, but she did a great job. Piano is my favorite part of decorating this year. This webbing is from Walmart and it was $4.96 and it works perfectly on this piano. I left the kids graduation from preschool pictures up and kind of draped it around. These sprigs are from the Dollarama this year and this little crow was from Michael's last year. Um, so the webbing, I just left our pumpkins. There are lights underneath and if I'll try to remember to insert a picture of them lit up at night. Then we have this sign from Winners years ago. This one from the Dollarama years ago. And this tree, Halloween tree. And I forget where I got this, but I think it's pretty cute.
kind of flying up the wall and they're over on this side as well. And then you'll notice our family had some new additions. We have Great Uncle Bob and Great Aunt Matilda. Connor asked me this morning, I said, no, no, they're relatives. And then up there we have another one. So we think they're pretty, pretty cool. I got those um, in a grab bag from, from Michael's. So that is it. That is my Halloween home decor haul. Um, I do have a, a towel in the bathroom and I buy Bath and Body Works Halloween soap and I put that out, but I'm not going to show it. Um, it's the towels in the wash, so and the soap I'm not using yet because I still have some of my apple scent. So I want to thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and watch. If you're new and you like what you're watching, please hit that red subscribe button down below. It will mean the world to me if you joined my YouTube community and became a member of my YouTube family. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because I love hearing from each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful day and a happy Halloween. Take care everyone and as always, have a wonderful day. Bye now.